you come pray about this government mountain that we believe that God is going to raise up, get, break corruption in government, and begin to shift those structures? Father, we call forth godly leaders in every single level of government. We call them forth right now to run for the, for the city councils and the county commissions, to run for office and be a public servant in the state house, to be mayors, to be governors, to be congressmen, to be senators. Even in the executive branch, we call forth godly leaders and we decree that they will come forth. And Father, I, I ask you now to release the spirit of repentance, a conviction over this country for the choices we've made, the conviction over the choices that have been made across this globe, that this conviction as we come to our knees and we'll humble ourselves, that you will hear from heaven, that you'll forgive our sins and you'll, you'll heal our land. Father, I call forth resources. As we saw in the state of Maine just a, a, a few days ago, that, that Maine became the 31st state, 31 out of 31, to, to protect marriage between one man and one woman. And we just call forth the other 29. We just call forth all 50 states. We call forth the other countries who will stand for God's institution. Not on our watch. And Father, we, uh, we, we, we call forth in this, in this time, in this generation, the end of the slaughter of the innocent. Through the legislation, through the ballot initiatives, through the judicial branch, we call and we, we decree that judicial tyranny is a thing of the past. That it must stop, it must called, it is checked. It can no longer rule this nation. And on our watch, Father, in this generation, we cry that the criminalization of Christianity will not take place. That we will see freedom to proclaim your truth and your gospel in this land and across the seas. Father, that we will be again an exporter of the gospel and a proclaimer of the truth. And Father, this lie of the so-called separation of church and state that isn't in our Constitution, but that of the former Soviet Union. We break down the deception, the lie that has kept the church in their pew. They will come out. They will be a voice in government, and they will no longer remain silent. We decree that God, with godly leaders will, will, will reign and rule, that they will no longer fear men, but they will fear God, and they will proclaim the gospel in the highest office in this land. We call forth Damascus Road experiences to those who, who occupy. And if they will not turn, we call forth for their replacement. We shut the door that no man can open. And we open the doors that no men can close in the name above all names, the name of Jesus Christ. Amen.